healthy lifestyle doesn't have to break the bank. In this video, you'll learn about 16 healthy, delicious foods that are low cost and rich in nutrients because the best diets are healthy, sustainable, and affordable. So if you're trying to take on a new healthy lifestyle and you're just worried about how expensive it's gonna be, rest assured, I'm gonna show you how you can do this and actually have it be affordable. Because contrary to what people think, eating healthy is not expensive. All right, so let's get started. So if you watch my video on how to eat healthy on a budget, I share a ton of healthy eating tips to help when you go to the grocery store, like meal prep, planning ahead, making a grocery list so that you avoid all those add-ons when you're at the store. Plus avoiding all of those high cost grocery stores and expensive manufacturing labels and instead focusing on healthy whole foods. So let's get into the top 16 healthy foods that are affordable and nutritious for you. Number one, sweet potatoes. I absolutely love sweet potatoes. I almost always have at least some sort of sweet potatoes in my fridge, whether they're steamed or baked or mashed, they're just so nutrient rich, heavy in antioxidants and minerals like beta carotene. Plus they're very, very affordable. You can buy them in bulk in the grocery store and they will last a while in your fridge. They are super great for bulk meal prep as well. Greek yogurt is another one. Look for full fat and unflavored yogurts like Bage 5% is my favorite, but there are others as well. Greek yogurt is super versatile too. I use it instead of sour cream and mayonnaise and it's so much better for you. It's great for your gut health and it has a ton of calcium and it has very healthy saturated fat in there for you. Plus, did you know that Greek yogurt is good for muscle repair as well? Now you do. <laughs> Oatmeal is a great choice as well. I get it in rolled oat form because that is one of the least processed forms. Still cut oats would work as well, but those take a lot longer to cook. It lasts like forever in your pantry, so it's a great option. Oatmeal really helps to maintain your blood sugar levels and also helps give you energy. It helps speed up your metabolism. They have tons of fiber and a bunch of minerals as well. Freshly bagged spinach is a great option and it's actually really cheap to buy if you buy it in the bagged form rather than in the plastic box form. Don't ask me why. It's the same food. I like to get the baby spinach and I get it in the bags. Lasts in your fridge for quite a while, up to a week and a half or so. It's loaded with vitamins A, C, E, and K. It helps boost your energy and your immunity, which are great. And you can add it to a ton of things. You can add it into your eggs, into your smoothies. You can saute it on its own. It's just really, really versatile. If you find that your bag spinach goes bad too fast, you can always get frozen spinach as well. It's equal equally nutrient dense and it saves pretty much forever in your freezer. But if you can go through it quick enough, I just tend to like the fresh stuff better, but there's no difference. Edamame is another great one. It's high in nutrients and low in calories, which is a great combination. Not only does it give you a generous amount of protein, you also get added energy from the manganese. It's just a very good nutrient dense food. I like to get shelled edamame and we leave it in the freezer and it defrosts really fast, just kind of like frozen peas. Sometimes we even have it just frozen as a little snack. It's really tasty. Bananas, I'm always surprised how cheap bananas are, but you can get like a whole bunch of them for less than two bucks. So we definitely eat our fair share of bananas. And if they ever do start to get too ripe, I just peel them, bag them up and put them in the freezer. And then I use them for smoothies. So they never go bad, which is great. And they are a great source of energy. They're loaded with fiber and potassium and they are just a really tasty sweet treat as well. Quinoa is another great one. It's a great thing to have in bulk in the pantry so you can grab it just like you would rice or oatmeal. Plus it's like a super green that's loaded with antioxidants and fiber and protein. And and it also has amino acids and minerals. So it is a super nutrient dense, pretty cheap food, especially if you buy it in bulk. Oranges, oranges are delicious and they are very cheap to buy in bulk, especially when they're in season, which is like almost all the time it feels like. As everybody seems to know, oranges have a ton of vitamin C, but they also have other nutrients. In fact, they're packed with fiber, potassium, and folate, and those are all very valuable nutrients. Frozen berries are great to buy in bulk because you don't have to pay the high price tag for fresh berries, which tend to be kind of pricier if they're not in season. So we tend to get a big bag of Costco mixed berries and we use those and they are just great. They're relatively low carb, especially if you're getting like frozen raspberries and they just make a great addition to smoothies. You can top your yogurt bowls with them. They are just good as a snack and just overall, they just make a great addition. They give you that added nutrients at not a 
huge cost. Like you can get a whole pound of frozen berries for like four bucks compared to a little tiny little container of raspberries for $4. And like I was saying before, frozen versus fresh doesn't matter nutritionally. In fact, many frozen foods were picked at their best ripeness. So it's a very good option. All right, so we've talked about veggies and grains and fruits, but chicken breast is another really great high protein food that you can get in bulk. And this is something that we like to do. We get it and we just freeze it. And then as you need it, you defrost it. Chicken in general, but chicken breast itself is a really, really great lean protein. But chicken breast also contains vitamins and calcium and iron and zinc. So you're getting a lot of nutrients as well in addition to that lean protein. Carrots are great for you as well. They are super duper cheap and you can buy them in bulk for like a dollar a bag, <laughs> even for organic ones. And they're just a really great nutritious food. They are high in beta carotene, so they're helping with your immunity and your skin and they're kid friendly. So overall, we just really enjoy having carrots in the house. Beans are another great option. You can either get them dried, which is the most effective option if you're looking for affordability, or you can get them canned, which is also very cheap. Beans are a great carb to add to your food. Plus they're loaded in fiber and protein, and you can add them in to create extra bulk to the food you're having so that your meals go farther. And they're just a really good nutrient packed food. My favorites are pinto beans and black beans. And we always have those in the house. And I have a whole recipe video on four different Instapot black bean recipes you can check out that take it from dried beans all the way through. So that's a really great way to speed it up as well using an Instapot. But if you don't have an Instapot, getting canned beans is also a great option. Apples are a great low cost option, especially like with any fruit or veggie, when they're in season, it's a great budget buy. Apples high antioxidant counts really help to associate it with lower blood pressure and lower risk for cancer. They're high in fiber. They have that pectin in there. So they're gonna make you feel fuller longer as well. Just a really overall great addition and a nice little sweet treat too. If you've watched my video on the seven foods I eat every day, you already know I'm a huge fan of eggs. Egg whites, regular eggs are just so nutrient dense. They're protein packed, they have healthy fats and they make you feel fuller, longer. They're just a really good addition to your diet and they are relatively cheap too. Like you can get 12 to 18 eggs around here for about five bucks. You could spring and get more expensive eggs and spend $10 on 12 eggs, but you know, you can definitely get some eggs <laughs> and that are pretty decent eggs for a reasonable price. They also last like forever in the fridge. and so. So we tend to have some eggs and some egg whites always available. And in addition to being protein packed, eggs are really great for your eye health and your brain health as well. So overall, really good stuff. Kiwis are shockingly a really great budget buy if you can get them when they're in season. And so in general, kiwis are a great nutrient dense food. Have you known people that actually eat the outside of them? If you eat the outside skin, let me know what you think about that because I've seen people do that and I just can't get my brain around it. But the outer skin is actually very nutrient dense though I don't eat it <laughs> inner amount of the kiwi is also nutrient dense not only are they loaded with vitamin C you're also getting the fiber the antioxidants and potassium. And you know I love some brown rice. I mean white rice as well, but brown rice does have a little bit more fiber and is a little bit less processed. So rice in general is a great bulk buy. It lasts in your pantry. You can use it as you need it. It adds to the bulk of your food so you can make your meals stretch out longer, which is a budget friendly option. It has protein and healthy fiber and it's been shown to help prevent type two diabetes. So brown rice is your friend with trying to eat healthy and be cost effective. And I talk a lot about these in my video on the seven foods that I eat every day because I like to eat on a budget as well. And it's definitely easy, I promise you. But if you're looking for help on how to start incorporating these foods into your daily routine, check out my 30 day healthy program where I have meal prepped foods waiting for you. that includes a ton of these healthy options that are actually budget friendly. So check out 30 day healthy and I will see you in the next video.